Now I'm going to talk about a tool which is going to be really helpful whenever you work with Git. But before talking about the tool, let me first explain you the scenarios in which you will need to use this tool. Okay, let me first open my Git bash. So this is my Git bash. Okay, now if you look at here, I'm under a project called Speedbox and I've just said Git status. So whenever I've said Git status, it has displayed a file which is in the modified state, right? And there is a command called git diff. Right? If you remember earlier when we talked about the git diff, it is going to display the differences between working directory and the staged area, right? So this is the most common command which we are going to use many times. And as you know, git diff is going to display the differences between the working directory and the staged area. Now, if you look at here, the git diff has shown us the differences, right? So this is the earlier line and we have added this line right so this this is how git diff is going to display the changes and now this is a simple project and it just has a single line of change but when you work on a big complex project it is going to show a lot of differences right so in that case looking at the output of a git diff is going to be really difficult so in such scenarios there are some tools using which we can see the differences between a working directory and a staging area okay now this is one scenario where you will need to use that tool and there is one more scenario okay so if you look at here this another project called hotbox wherein i get an issue called auto merging right merge conflict right if you remember our earlier tutorial when we talked about git branching right so there there are times when we get merging issues okay so if i just say git status here okay so this is the git status and we can see here unmerged paths both have modified unmerged paths both modified and if I go inside that okay it is going to display something like this right you can see less than symbols and then the greater than symbols so so this is how merge conflicts are going to be shown right looking at this code is really difficult and honestly speaking this is really difficult to understand right so there are tools which is going to ease our task okay let me just go back once I'm going to say quit okay now I'm back now I'm going to talk about a tool which is going to be really helpful for git diff and git merge okay that tool is nothing but p4 merge okay p4 merge is a tool which is developed by perforce okay perforce is a company which has developed the tool so I am going to open perforce.com so I've just typed perforce.com and I've just clicked on that now if you look at here so this is perforce.com okay so yeah it's loading up and I'm going to click on downloads okay clicked on the downloads all right now we'll have to search for p4 merge here there are a lot of software is available here and you will need to search for something called p4 merge look at here this is called p4 merge okay helix visual magic tool let me click on that now if you look at it down look at here this is a family wherein you will need to select either windows linux or machintosh that's for the mac right so i'm going to select windows and then i'm going to select the platform so for that i'm going to select 64 and then the version right so it's already populated and i'll have to click on the download so i have already downloaded this and in your case you will need to download it okay so i have it already downloaded which is nothing but p4 winch 64 so once it is downloaded just give a double click on that so it is going to be a 194 i believe 194 mb right so once it gets downloaded double click on that and when you double click on that it is going to display a dialog something like this right if you look at here you do have something called helix visual client and then merge and diff tool administration tool command line command line client we don't need everything here instead we are interested in merge and diff tool right so i'm going to uncheck the other softwares here so i have merge and diff tool selected i'm going to press next and then i'm going to install it okay done so now it is going to take some time to get it installed so once it get installed we'll try to check our diff and merge issues using this tool which is nothing but p4 merge Now if you look at here successfully installed p4 merge look at here successfully installed i am going to exit now since p4 
p4mage has been successfully installed and if I open git bash and I'm going to just clear it once and if I say p4mage will it open basically we'll need to type p4mage here and so, but I'm will it open I'm going to press enter look at here p4mage command not found because your git is not able to identify p4mage because you will need to set path of p4mage so for that you will need to open up your local C drive wherein your software was installed so I'm going to open up program files and I'll have to look for something called perforce right so this is the place where my p4 merge has been installed right I'll have to copy this right this is the path of my p4 merge and then I'll need to open environmental variables okay so I'm going to the properties and then I'll click on advanced system settings and then I'll click on environmental variables and there will be two types of variables here one user variables and one the system variables and we'll need to add this perforce path under system variables for that I am going to select path and I am going to click on edit so when I click on edit button it is going to open up a dialog wherein you need to press on new button and need to paste it okay so this is the path of perforce I'm going to press ok and then ok and finally ok again right so now if you say p4 merge it will have to work but it will not work look at here though you have set the path it will not work because whenever you set the path you will need to close the command prompt right you will need to close the git bash so i have it open two times so i have closed it so now if you open up git bash again and if you say git and if you say p4 merge okay look at here it is opening p4 merge tool right so this is the tool which is going to be used for diff and merge look at here right i'll be using this tool so our p4 merge is working now right our p4 merge is working but still you will need to integrate p4 merge with your git okay for that you will need to run few commands okay let me show those commands and these are the commands for merge and the diff tool okay so first let me do it for the merge okay okay so i am going to use these commands for that i will open up git bash okay so i have git bash open the first command that we will need to use is git config global followed by merge dot tool followed by p4 merge okay so i'll say git config global and then merge dot tool followed by p4 merge okay so this is the first command that you will need to use done the first one is done and the second one is git config global followed by merge tool look at here in the first command we have a merge dot tool whereas in the second command you will be having merge tool dot p4 merge dot path so this is the place where you will set the path okay so i am going to use merge tool dot p4 merge dot path and then the path okay so as you know already the path is at this location right c program files and then the perforce so I am going to paste it here so one thing you will need to remember here is that you will need to change this backward slashes to the forward slashes and then at the end you will need to provide p4 merge dot exe okay p4 merge dot exe that is the executable file path we are setting up here try to check once or twice before pressing enter okay git config global merge tool dot p4 merge dot path and then the path okay done so i'm going to press enter and the final command that you will need to type is merge tool dot prompt you should have to say false okay so i am going to use git config followed by merge tool dot prompt right so i'll have to set it globally merge tool dot prompt i'll have to say false okay merge tool dot prompt i'll say false then so these are the different commands for the merge tool so now i'll be doing it for the diff tool too okay so git config followed by the global i'll have to say diff dot tool and then p4 merge okay so let me try to open up global git give dot tool p4 merge done and then git config global diff tool dot p4 merge dot path again you need to set that path okay so once you set the path just have to chain this backward slashes to the forward slashes and then here you will need to say p4 
p4 merge dot exe and then press enter done and the final command is git config followed by global and then you need to say diff tool dot prompt and you need to say false okay done now that we have run all the different commands which have set the configuration for merge tool and the diff tool now that we have successfully integrated or successfully configured merge tool and the diff tool with the git now we are ready to use merge tool and the diff tool okay but before that i'll have to close it and open it again okay so i have closed it and i am going to say git bash okay so now i'll be moving back to my projects wherein i have some differentiations and the merge conflicts right so i'll go to the git projects and then i'll say ls now i'll go back to the sweet box wherein we have if i say git status we have a modified file and if i say git diff look at here so these are some kind of differences between a working directory and the staging area right so this is how it is going to display when you say git diff but now i will be using diff tool okay which we have just set which has come from p4 which has come from p4 merge tool okay so now if i press enter look at here now it is going to open up a tool look at here it has opened a tool right wherein we have the two changes at two sides in the left side which is the previous change and in the right side which is the new change so this is how you can find the differences between the working directory and a staging area in this case we just have a few lines of changes but in but whenever you work on a complex project right it is going to be really helpful okay this is the first thing i am going to close it okay so this is the first thing now let me go back and let me open up our hot box wherein we have wherein we have merge conflict right look at here we have an unmerged path so now if you wanted to know about those merge conflicts you will need to open up this home.txt file and it's really difficult to understand that so for that i am going to use this tool so i'll say git merge tool done now it is going to open up the tool now look at here so this is how it will be opening up and if you look closely on the top you have a blue color and then orange color and then the green color look at here so these are the different kinds of changes we have so this is the change which says we are going to teach python course which this change has been done by person a and in the right side you have something called we are going to teach react native this is the change done by person y now we will need to choose either of them either the left side change or the right side change so for that you have an option to select here look at here now i am going to press on blue button okay so when i have pressed on the blue button it has taken the changes from the left side because on the top we have a blue button right so this is how you will be selecting either the left side or the right side okay now once you are done with your changes you have to press on the save button on the top and then just need to close it right so we are done now if i say git status look at here changes to be modified right so i'll have to say git add dot which is going to add up everything right so now i'll say git status if you look at here changes to be committed okay and in the right side you are still merging it right so if you commit it it will be merged so for that i am going to say git commit minus m followed by merge conflicts resolved okay done now if i say git status look at here nothing to commit your working tree is clean and on the right side you just have a master because you have successfully merged it right so this is a very very important tool whenever you work on very complex projects and, and it is going to be really helpful so from the next time onwards try to use this tool whenever possible